Hi, good morning, uh, good morning all. Uh, today I am uh, explaining uh, AP 7th edition. It is very uh, useful, uh, I think it is very useful for the uh, scholars. <coughs> uh, so while they prepare the manuscript, uh, they have to follow AP 7th edition. And this is a new edition, uh, latest updated edition, and I have taken from the APA manual, 7th edition. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I will uh, share the slides. So. Okay, APA uh, style, 7th edition, and you know the importance of APA style, it is American Psychological Association style, and uh, this style uh, is adopted by the uh, publishers uh, across the globe. Uh, why this APA style? Uh, to get the uniformity in the manuscript writing, if otherwise, uh, you know, without APA or uh, other standards of uh, manuscript writing, everybody follows uh, different styles that may not be appropriate for the readers to understand the things so to and to for the readers to understand the things uh, there is uh, we should adopt this kind of standards so one of the standard is apa style the importance of apa style is uh, social science research especially commerce management economics uh, like uh, subjects they are using apa style for preparation of manuscript and uh, the base the journals means uh, the social science based uh, journals and publishers are also preferring the APA styles. So, we can understand APA style uh, in, the in the coming slides, through the coming slides. Okay. So, I have taken from the APA, uh, APA style.apa.org. So, you can go to this website for uh, getting more information. You know, APA have uh, produced a, a 750 page manual and this manual explains explain very clearly about the uh, things uh, 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 things of uh, updation in updated information okay so APA AP is the style of uh, documentation of uh, sources used by the American Psychological Association so this model is uh, adopted by the universities and publishers across the globe that is very important this model is uh, adopted by the universities and publishers across the globe So, what APA prefer? Uh, APA style is a set of guidelines for clear and precise scholarly communication that helps others, both new and experienced, achieve excellence in writing. So, there are others, you know, experienced others are and new others. All the others should follow these guidelines. If we do not follow these guidelines, our uh, thesis or manuscript may not be accepted because we have to follow, we must follow these guidelines. Uh, if a particular university follows APA 7th uh, edition, we have to reframe the manuscript. We have to frame the manuscript according to the guidelines given by the university. Means uh, they are following the APA uh, type of uh, uh, guidelines uh, for preparation of manuscript. Manuscript means uh, maybe a dissertation, maybe a thesis may be a project by the students. So, the APA has uh, different, uh, you know, different guidelines for the students and the academic professional uh, manuscript. Uh, so, students are slightly different. So, APA, if you go to the APA uh, edition, you will get the difference uh, for the students' uh, uh, work and uh, scholarly work. And it is, it is an authoritative source and it is approved by majority publishers in the world. So, I already mentioned the APA for students, APA style for students. Uh, the publication manual has uh, long been an authority source for scholarly writing and this edition provides more targeted guidance and support for the students. So, students across the globe, uh, institution for, if the institution following APA 7th edition, the students have to, uh, you know, prepare the manuscript based on this uh, APA 7th edition guidelines.
So why APA or, or, or those present their ideas in a clear, concise and organized manner? Okay. Then uniformity and consistency, that is a very essential thing uh, if we follow the APA. So the manuscript, <coughs> APA provides the manuscript a uniformity and consistency. So then only uh, if the authors uh, follows uh, uniformity and consistency while writing manuscript, then it focuses uh, on the ideas being presented rather than formatting and scan work quickly for key points and findings and sources. The readers can be able to understand the style uh, used by the authors. So if the reader, uh, you know, they are reading uh, day by day, they are and they are. Uh, they will get the capacity to understand the things because the, the publisher is using the same standard. First and most important thing uh, I would like to focus because APA uh, 7 manual I said it is a 750 page document you know it's a big document and I, uh, I cannot cover uh, in a video because if you read the document that would be great then I can tell about some something uh, important point discussed in the APA 7th edition. So first of first thing is the title. The title is very important, uh, you know, uh, the title is important uh, for the search engine optimization. So many of the journals and publishers uh, preferring the impact factor, they are uh, trying for the more impact factor and the others are trying for more H, H index. So search engine optimization. Uh, for if we get the search engine optimization better results, the title should be appropriate. If the title is not appropriate and if unnecessary words in the title, then it will fail uh, for the search engine optimization. So title, uh, there is no, you know, hard and fast rule given by the AP style. Uh, what is the length of title? How many word count in the title? There is no, not such rules, but concise statement of the main topic of the research. A title is the concise statement of the main topic of the research should identify the variables or theoretical issues under investigation. So your variables, your main variables should be part of the title. We can find the relationship between variables. Although there is no prescribed limit uh, for uh, title length in APA style, others are encouraged uh, to keep the title as simple as possible. So research has shown an association between simple, concise title and higher number of article downloads and citations. So uh, there is a research uh, and the citations uh, given here, uh, Halok and Dilner 2016 and Jamali and uh, Nick Sats 2011. They studied and they concluded that a, a, a small, simple, concise title uh, will attract more citations and downloads. So that, uh, you know, uh, title uh, uniformity means title is very important for the better citations and impact factor. So when you set the title, you should be keep in mind this, uh, this citation. So what are the essentials while making title? Uh, you know, uh, include essential items in the title to enhance readers ability to find your work during the search and to aid abstracting and indexing in databases if the work is published. So avoid words that serve no purpose. So unnecessary words should should be avoided from the title. They increase the title length and can mislead indexers. For example, there are many examples when we uh, seeing in the uh, daily academics, uh, many people using students and academicians using with reference to a study on a study of. These are the unnecessary words that should be eliminated. So, a study with reference to Kerala, a study with reference to public sector undertaking. The already a study, then why, why do you use a study with reference to uh, a study of, a study on, that should be avoided, okay? And also, you, you, not, you, you, you cannot use, uh, you should not use method, result uh, in the title, okay? But you can use, uh, you can use the meta-analysis and research synthesis. This uh, part you can use, this, this keywords you can use in the title. So terms such as research synthesis, that will give a clear idea uh, to the readers that what the title or what the research focusing on and um, meta-analysis, that will give, uh, that will convey important information for potential readers and are included in the title. 
So I would like to explain with the, uh, this uh, table I have taken from the APA uh, 7th uh, edition manual and there are uh, they have differentiated in effective and effective title and rational for setting the title. So first one they discussed uh, effect of depression on the decision to join a clinical trial. Effect of depression on the decision to join a clinical trial. That is, a, that is an effective title. But the title may be ineffective, you know, a study on the effect of depression. We, we regularly we see this kind of uh, title uh, from, uh, I mean, uh, in dissertations and theses, etc. A study on the effect of depression. A study on study of should be avoided. From. So, more direct approach uh, is needed. Unnecessary rewards have been cut. And second one, way and when hierarchy impacts team effectiveness, meta-analytic integration. So, hierarchy and team effectiveness, that will not give a proper idea. So, why and when hierarchy impacts team effectiveness, meta-analytic integration, because they have used the meta-analysis uh, keyword in the title, that, that has more specific and that will be more better uh, for the search engine optimization. And the uh, last one uh, discussing closing your eyes to follow your heart, avoiding information to protect a strong individual preference, closing your eyes to follow your heart. It's again WAG and uh, this first one is uh, more informative. And a creative title has been balanced with substantiate the subtitle. Here, two titles used, closing your eyes to follow your heart and the subtitle is avoiding information to protect a strong individual preference. A title and a subtitle that will that combine the effect is good. Okay, so we can use the title and subtitle uh, 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 substantiative. I mean, we can substantiate uh, more with this title. It, this title provides more insights to the readers. The next author's name is. The author's name is also a very uh, complicated thing, you know, some of the authors, you know, they are uh, using different names for different manuscript. What will be the impact? The citation, that will affect, uh, badly affect the citation. So, we need to use the uniform name, uh, first name, middle name and last name. So, the preferred form of an author's name is first name, middle name and last name. Uh, this form reduces the likelihood of mistaken identity. And we should, uh, there are, you know, some of the others will always use the doctor, professor, PhD, etc. in the name, uh, along with the name. That should be avoided. That will affect the search engine optimization. So, uh, omit all professional titles, doctor, professor, academic degrees, licenses, PhD, MD, MA, RN, MSW, from the byline. So, that is also a very important point, uh, updated by the APA 7th edition. So, I would like to explain with the example I have taken from the APA 7 manual. Uh, one other, one affiliation. Uh, you can write one author's name and affiliation. And one other, two affiliations. Sometimes the author may be affiliated to two institutions. Then write the author's name and uh, write the two affiliation. One other, no institutional affiliation. Write the author's name and uh, his uh, address. That would be fine. Two other shared affiliation, write the name of two authors and the first author and the second author and affiliation institution. Two other different affiliation, just number it, first author one and the second author two and the first author's affiliation and second author's affiliation below the line, uh, name, uh, below the name of the authors. Three or more authors shared affiliation, just uh, write, uh, write the name of the authors and the affiliation in the second uh, line. Three or more others, different affiliations, just uh, write the name and number it and uh, the number explaining the affiliation of the others, okay. Then OCD is very important, uh, the all academicians uh, need to register with the OCD and create ID. So, OCD ID is uh, uh, for identification of an author, uh, okay. So, uh, or should I provide better identification? You can update the, your details, your uh, affiliated institutions, past institutions, and present institutions in the ORCID. That when you, when one person click with the ORCID, and uh, full identity of the authors uh, can be disclosed. This is very important. So all academicians and uh, students uh, can also take ORCID ID. Then disclosures and acknowledgments. This is very important. You know. Uh, 
so disclosures uh, if we if we write manuscript if we have taken some data from some other authors or some other institutions that has to be disclosed because uh, there should not be any hidden fact uh, associated with the manuscript so that fact has to be uh, disclosed uh, and uh, acknowledgement you have to acknowledge your colleagues who uh, who read the paper, you read your manuscript and comment it. You can acknowledge uh, a reviewer or editor of the journal who has given a better reviews that reviews was helpful for better insights of the paper. Or sometimes you may, uh, some other co authors has uh, commented well. So you have to give acknowledgement to these people for, uh, uh, for the. Uh, for better insights, so that is uh, that uh, is to be followed. So this is uh, updation given by the APA seventh uh, acknowledgement. You can acknowledge this is a simple example. For example, write the article is based on data published in Pulaski 2017, or this article is based on the dissertation completed by Graham 2018, and include an entry for Pulaski 2017 or Graham in the reference list. So that is an acknowledgement. Uh, also acknowledge the publication related reports, reports on the same data, acknowledge, acknowledgement on financial support and other assistance. If you get some funding, that funding details has to be acknowledged. Some, I have seen many of the journals, they, if the funding, they specifically, they have, they are asking for the funding details. Okay. And in the web of science also, we can get the funding details. When you search a uh, paper title or topic, uh, we will get the funding agencies who were supported uh, for the papers. So that also make another insights. Uh, for example, if we undertake uh, the research of nudging, so which are the institutions provide funding uh, uh, for nudging researchers? And what is the recent uh, area uh, that has funded by the uh, funding institutions? That will give an insights to the readers that if they do that research and uh, which area will give more uh, preference by the funding agencies. Uh, that is an another insight so that uh, you can give in the uh, uh, through acknowledgements. Okay, so acknowledgement also there are rules of thumb, uh, acknowledgement, uh, and acknowledge colleagues who assist, I already mentioned, and do not acknowledge the people routinely involved in the review acceptance of the manuscript in this paragraph. Uh, so just peer reviewers, editors, associate editors, and consulting editors of the journal in which you are submitting the manuscript. That should not be followed. That again create a problem. Uh, if you would like to acknowledge a specific idea raised by the reviewer or journal editor, do so in a footnote in the next uh, in the text where the idea is discussed. Okay. Then abstract again abstract, uh, but the abstract part you know there is no, no hard and fast rule given in the APA seven manual, but. Uh, uh, Important that abstract word count, abstract word count, standard word count is 250 words and you have to take care of uh, the, the keywords used in the abstract that has to be repeated in the abstract content. So if you use the five or six keywords, that keywords has to be repeated two, three times in the abstract that will improve your search, and search engine optimization of the manuscript later it is published. So. Uh, uh, I would like to say that, uh, you know, every journal means every publisher means Sage has a different mechanism to write abstract, Emerald has a different mechanism, Elsevier has a different mechanism and, uh, you know, uh, Taylor and Francis has a different mechanism. It means it's, it's, it's up to the journal's preference. Some journals prefer different style of abstracting. Okay, so you... you you can write an abstract, but you have to reframe the abstract according to the journal in which you are submitting the manuscript. So word count I explained is 250 words, okay. And the keyword is important. I said the keyword is very important for uh, search engine optimization and getting of H index and impact factor. The keywords, uh, you know, keywords uh, describe the contents and your keywords uh, carefully uh, prepared your keywords your keywords can be repeated in the abstract and the content part of the manuscript. So the, you know, some of the journals, they have already keyword plus, uh, they, they, are, they have keyword plus and the others keyword. And when you analyze uh, from the web of science data, there are two keywords, you will get others keyword and journals keyword, keyword plus. So both uh, ways we can collect uh, data from the web of science. 
So keyword styles are keywords uh, in italic uh, one line below the abstract and indented uh, 0 0.5. Uh, and keywords uh, may be written in lower case, uh, but capitalized proper nouns. First word sometimes capitalized if it is a noun. And uh, next footnote, footnote is a brief note that provides additional content or copyright attribution. Any type of uh, paper may include footnotes. So footnotes uh, may include the manuscript uh, part or uh, uh, later part of the uh, manuscript. So, content should not supplement or enhance substantiated information in the text. They should not include complicated, irrelevant or non-essential information. Because they can be distracting to readers, content should not should be included only if they strengthen the discussion. Say, content should not should convey just one idea if you find yourself creating paragraphs or displaying equations as you are writing a footnote. Then the main text or an appendix would like to be more suitable place to uh, prepare for information. So appendices are sometimes others, uh, you know, sometimes we cannot include all part of uh, the contents in the manuscript part. So we compare, we mandatorily sometimes uh, we may use the contents in the form of appendices, appendices A, appendices B. That should be come up after the reference part. So appendices type of appendices appendices a b but you you remember that appendices should be uh, like you know essential part of the manuscript uh, but unnecessary contents uh, should not be included in the appendices part some persons i i would say that they they using unnecessary information because just for the sake of in, in, increasing the pages they are using the appendix part that is not Fair. So, appendix must be supplementing materials of the manuscript. Then, order of pages that is given in the APA 7 manual, the first page, title page, then abstract. If the abstract is needed, sometimes the student's uh, case, the abstract is not needed, but the professional uh, thesis and uh, dissertation the abstract is needed. And text, uh, manuscript text uh, and references, you can start a new page, footnotes, a new page footnotes may appear either in the footer of the page where they are first mentioned or a separate page after references and tables uh, start each on a new page after the footnotes figures start each on a new page after the tables appendices start each on a new page after the tables and figures okay this order of pages and page header uh, uh, use the automatic page numbering function of your word processing program. You know, you are using Microsoft Word, its automatic page numbering system is uh, there. So, you can use that. Uh, the title page is page number 1. So, manuscript being submitted for publication should contain the running heard in the page header in addition to the page number. So, what should be the font? Again, there is a confusion, but there is no hard and fast rule given by APA 7, you know, font size. Sometimes the journal prefer the font size and the font type. Uh, historically, uh, sans serif uh, fonts have been preferred for online works and sans serif fonts for the print works. However, modern screen resolutions can typ typically accommodate either type of fonts and people who use uh, assistive technologies can adjust phone settings to their preferences. There is a variety of phone choices are permitted in APA style. Also check with your publisher, instructor or institution for any requirement regarding the font. So font, you know, as ancillary phones such as 11 point Calibri, 11 point Arial or 10 point uh, Lucida Sans Unicode or 12 point Times New Roman, 11 point Georgia or normal 10 point computer modern etc may be used in the manuscript. APA recommend uh, these phones because they are legible and widely available and because they include special characters such as math symbols and Greek letters. So within figure images use the sans serif phone with the type size between 8 and 14 points. Within the figure images use 8 and 14 points. Anyway, uh, we can, uh, like uh, a conclusion. Uh, for the phones, there is no hard and fast rules, but you take care of the guidelines given in the journals uh, and uh, uh, prepare the manuscript accordingly. If you are targeting a particular journal and you can read the guidelines given by the journal, 
and uh, you can prepare the manuscript accordingly Which, uh, you can customize uh, the manuscript accordingly when you prepare the manuscript already you can customize them because just one click you can change the font size and all it's not uh, rocket science so font of footnotes uh, when presenting a footnote in a page your footer uh, the default footnote settings of your word processing program are acceptable this 10 point font with the single line spacing the footnote you remember 10 point a phone with single line spacing that is a case of food not so line spacing uh, double space the ender paper uh, is very important double space line space must be double space the ender paper including the title page abstract text heading block quotations reference list table and figure notes and appendices all in double spacing then table body and figure image, table body cells and words within the image part of the figure may be single spaced, uh, table body and figure image means within the table and figure image single spaced and one and a half spaced or a double spaced depending on the what the format creates because it is not, uh, for this also there is no hard and fast rules, a single space can be used, one and a half space can be used or double space can be used. Then footnotes uh, that appear at the bottom of the page on which they are called should be single spaced. Okay, so footnotes should be single spaced. That is uh, much fair to uh, presentable. Margins use uh, 2.54 is a default margin all word processing softwares. Uh, dissertations and thesis may have different requirements. Sometimes uh, if you fear university uh, prefer uh, one point fine and left, then you can use that. There is no hard and fast rule for in the APA 7 guidelines. Then paragraph indentation, uh, intent the first line of the paragraph uh, 0 0.5 inch, uh, that is a very common uh, guideline. For consistency, use the tab key or the automatic paragraph formatting function of your word processing program. The default settings in most word processing programs are accept acceptable. It's already been default uh, setting of the Microsoft Word and all. The remaining lines in the paragraph should be uh, left aligned. This is important. The table I found is very useful to the uh, researchers. And uh, now uh, you can find that the table, uh, there is no horizontal and vertical lines. Only uh, upper horizontal lines and the bottom horizontal lines. All the vertical lines uh, deleted. So this is the format of the table and you can see that uh, table heading and uh, you can see that there is a not not is also very important when you use some abbreviations uh, me m s d m s d effect all these things can be uh, explained uh, uh, through knots and again uh, the factor loading is most commonly used by the commerce and management researchers the factor loading can be uh, used as bold on factor loading and the notes you can also total number of samples and if you adopted some variables or construct from some other or those uh, and that adaptation uh, has to be given so copyright uh, uh, has to be given so copyright 2015 by american psychological association so that uh, has to be given uh, you know that is very important uh, so this is uh, what the table looks like in apa 7 uh, edition for the factor loading for exploratory factor analysis. Citations part is very important. Uh, how to cite properly? Uh, uh, avoid both uh, under citation and over citation. Avoid under citation and over citation. Uh, under citation can lead to plagiarism. So if you under cite means uh, in uh, some of the publishers I know that they each and every sentence in the manuscript has to be cited as well. Uh, if if you are on contribution, you know you to uh, cite. If otherwise, uh, uh, you should cite uh, each and every sentence of the manuscript uh, in a thematic way. Uh, so the under citation can lead to plagiarism. Uh, the over citation can be also disturbing, uh, distracting, uh, and it is unnecessary. Some uh, some of the papers you might experience that is over cited is everywhere cited. Lot of references. For example. Uh, it is considered over citation to repeat the same citation in every sentence when the source and topic have not changed. Okay, it is considered over citation to repeat the same citation in every sentence uh, when the source and topic have not changed. 
because same authors has been given cited in everywhere because the same content is repeating it's not not necessary instead when paraphrasing a key point in more than one sentence within a paragraph cite the source in the first sentence in which it is irrelevant and do not repeat the same that is a rule so when paraphrasing a key point in more than one sentence uh, within a paragraph cite the source in the first sentence in which it is relevant and do not repeat the same in the second sentence that is that can you can be adopted okay so you remember over citation and under citation is bad a fair citation is essential so citations uh, there is a question if i cite a journal article in the body of my text does, does uh, it mean that the authors of that journal article agree with the arguments in my paper so it's somebody, somebody that uh, there is a confusion that is agreement and disagreement if you disagree with the author uh, you can also be cite if you are disagree with the author's uh, findings if you agree you can also state that if you agree with the findings both ways you can cite so anyway uh, you need to explain what the author's findings and after that you can cite if you are agree with that author's finding and if you are not agree with the author's finding so this is a model you can adopt the agreement or disagreement should be conveyed by your wordings for example this interpretation is consistent with findings by smith johns uh, or number of researchers do not agree with this view and uh, who are the authors do not agree with the view and who are the authors agree with it so there is a concept called efficient market hypothesis in this portfolio management and uh, uh, there are people who are uh, favoring efficient market hypothesis there are people who are against efficient market hypothesis you can cite uh, the people who are in agreement with the efficient market hypothesis and uh, you can cite uh, the others who are against the efficient market hypothesis both ways you can do citations so this is an example of appropriate level of citations uh, humor plays an important role in everyday life from interacting with strangers to attracting mates and the citation uh, and some people however come up with funny and uh, uh, witty ideas much more easily than do others this is not cited so explanation will be given in this study we examined the role of cognitive abilities in human humor production a topic with the long past and cited that has recently attracted more attention cited uh, humor production ability is measured with open ended task and it is cited this is the most common of which involves asking participants write captions for single panel cartoon cited so this is a way in which proper citation can be made here the one uh, uh, citation is not and not you can read the not the others have provided citations to represent the sources for which each new idea in the text common knowledge and the second one they have not cited some people however come up with funny and witty ideas much more easily than do others that is a common idea that should not require citations all others are findings of the authors so that we have given the citation okay so these uh, materials i have taken from the api manual for 7th edition thank you